Psalm. Um, yes, I would say the answer is that we will um, do insertions. We would make modifications. Um, so it could just be adding a synonym. It could be changing a name from what came, comes in as, say, the accepted name to something else. So, um, yeah, very broadly, the answer is yes. Yes, we will um, do the changes because it is still a box on a diagram. <laughs> Okay, thanks so much. Then we're turning to the next presenter, which is online, uh, Thomas Papa, that will uh, say something about Systema Dipterorum and uh, quality assurance, quality control issues concerning that. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hello, Hobart. This is early morning in Denmark. I hope that all can hear me. Is that okay? Yes, we can. That's good. Systema Dipterorum, that is a nomenclature for all two-winged insects uh, of this world. Uh, can I have the next slide, please? Uh, this is a very simple FileMaker-based database. Uh, it was actually growing out of uh, initiatives uh, from United States Department of Agriculture in the early 60s, 80s, 60s, last century, uh, and it was invented and created uh, and uh, initiated by Chris Thompson uh, of that institution. Uh, we are keeping this rather simple. We are interested in names, species, and related references. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so far, that was too far. Could you go one back? Uh, we are keeping the species interface very simple because this is about classification and synonymy. So this is incorporated in our nomenclature. Uh, next slide, please. We have an online interface and everybody can go and search for simple details. Uh, you can search for species as shown on the next slide. We update this uh, every two months, uh, and you can search for the most basic parts of our database here in terms of names, authors, uh, publication dates. And we have a separate entry for references shown on the next slide. Uh, if you take the next slide, this is showing where we are. We have been keeping statistics for the last six years. Uh, and you can see on the next slide that we do have a good chunk of names. We are not quite at the level of the world plant species list. Uh, but you can see that we have on the next slide, we have something like 170,000 names uh, for species of two winged insects on our planet. Next slide, please. Uh, we do have all the documentation uh, online and you can go and find the various details. I will here uh, focus on uh, the next slide, focus on the quality assurance, the way we are trying to show how good our records are. And the next slide. We try to keep four quality assurance levels. Uh, the idea is that our records should be gradually upgraded over time. And in the end, they will have some kind of a final review so that they can be considered as published records. Next slide, please. The first level is simply to harvest names. And way back in time, we started by harvesting from all kinds of secondary sources in order to have the baseline data and those initial records were given a verification code of 40 or less uh, that number was created by uh, chris thompson so this is to some extent uh, a rather arbitrary figure 
uh, but it does give a value and it, it does give some room for us to grade the quality of those secondary sources. Next slide, please. The next level will be to compare that initial harvest of data to those original secondary sources in order to see if the, the raw data entry was uh, correct. And those records, whenever checked against the secondary source, they will have, of course, a, a verification code above that initial value of 40. Next slide, please. The next level will also include uh, the linkage because the aim is to have all the names records linked to a bibliographic record. And when that linkage is done, the verification code will increase to 70 or higher. Next slide, please. Then third level, that will be a completed nomenclature review. Uh, which means that we compare the record against the original source, either by the editors, which is Neil Evans and myself, or by specialists that are associated with our project. And when that is done, the verification code will increase so that it is 90 or even higher, depending on the quality. Uh, next slide, please. Then after the completed nomenclature review, we will go into the taxonomic review. Uh, that means simply that we have reviews by specialists in order to confirm that the name in the taxonomic status given uh, is what we can call currently accepted taxonomic quality. Uh, and those records will then have verification codes raised above 100. Uh, we are somehow constrained by this is the quality assurance system that we started out with. Today, I would be keen on revising this to keep nomenclature and taxonomy better uh, separated. I, I think that we are uh, mixing up things that in the end will make it much more difficult to assess the overall quality of our data. Uh, next level, please. In the end, as I mentioned before, we hope to have a peer review, the fourth and last level, so that whenever we have independent reviews by two specialists, we can claim that the records, they are, in a sense, they are to, comp to, to be considered as published records, even though they appear online. We're not having any of those uh, of, of that quality level yet, and that will be a verification code above 200. Uh, next slide, please. These are just some examples from the lower end of the verification uh, range. Uh, you can see that they go from zero to 40, uh, partly in order to show how that harvest was done, partly also to reflect our own assessment of the, re the reliability of those entries. Next level, please. Next slide. These are records from the upper part of the range, just to show how these records also will be given partly the level as such through the value of the verification code and for us to go back and see exactly uh, uh, what is the reason for any given uh, verification code. Next slide, please. This is an example of what you get if you go uh, to our online uh, database and you check out a species uh, level record. Next slide, please. You can see that the verification code 99 is entered and that means that this name record has been checked against original source, uh, but the final taxonomic check has not yet been completed. And on the next slide, you can see that the authority for that record and the person that should be doing the final taxonomic check will be this person. And you can see the record to the literature source that we are relying on, a catalog I did back in 1996. Uh, next slide, please. 
overall, if we take all our records and do uh, the average, that average will be 85. Uh, the question, of course, is what does that really tell us? Uh, next slide. And basically, uh, although an average always will be, uh, of course, a composite figure, but it is telling us that we are between level 2B and level 3. So we have a very large number of our records that are linked to their bibliographic records, which means that the verification code is 70 or higher. Uh, we are still a bit behind in comparing these records against the original source, because if that, when that is done, uh, the verification code will be 90 or higher. Uh, the next slide, please. Uh, so, shown in another way, you can see that our species authority links with, 15, with 153,000 records, uh, that means that 73% of those uh, are linked to their uh, data records. Uh, and we are a bit lower for uh, genus records uh, and genus reference links. But this at least gives an overall quality of where in the process we are. Next slide, please. And that is the, the status for Systema Diptororum at this time. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks, uh, Thomas. Uh, any questions for Thomas? None. Maybe Thomas, then I can pose you uh, a question if you're still there. I'm still here, yes. Okay. Um, you know, as part of this session, uh, we're looking into data quality, data uh, assurance processes. We know that there are a lot of processes out there. Um, could you give your opinion on how we could align those processes? What What would be the major step, uh, in your opinion, in getting there? Yes, that, that is a very, very relevant uh, question. And I think one of, the, one of the problems or challenges we are facing is that there's so, so many differences uh, in the approach if you have a, a database for a well-known group like birds, for example, and if you take our own group of two-winged insects, uh, for a very large group like the Diptera, with a quarter of a million names, uh, the main challenge for us is to harvest all names and check we have the names correctly. Uh, nomenclature is one thing, taxonomy is another thing. I think that in the future we should be better at keeping the quality assurance very different for taxonomy and nomenclature. Then, of course, when we do that, we can always merge them. But having an idea of the quality for nomenclature and the quality for taxonomy uh, will be so very different approaches. As soon as you have the names uh, very, very roughly, you can say that taxonomy uh, is about tick marking those names that are currently the valid or the accepted names. Super. Um, is there any other question? No? In case not, then we go to the next speaker, which is Donald Hoburn. Okay. And uh, Thanks. Yep. Hmm. 